Okay, to recap a little bit, we have our software under test, and it provides some APIs. Each API is a collection of functions, and most of the work that we have during testing is going to be calling these functions with various values and looking at the results. Additionally, the software under test is going to use APIs provided by, for example, the operating system or the programming language runtime, and a separate kind of testing is looking at how the software under test responds to return codes and similar given to it by the APIs that it uses. Now it would be great if both of these kinds of testing represented a complete picture of everything that we need to test, but in fact that's not the case. And there's some added complications that we're going to talk about now. And the issue is that the overt explicit interfaces that we see here don't represent all the possible inputs and outputs that we might care about. For example, on the input side, it's completely possible that our software under test cares about the time at which inputs arrive. So it might be the case that our software responds differently if our inputs, if two inputs arrive very close together, than it does if two inputs arrive separated by a large amount of time. And if this seems silly, just consider, for example, the software that processes mouse clicks. Two clicks very close together represent a double click, and that's interpreted very differently from two mouse clicks that occur far up, farther apart in time, which count as two single mouse clicks. And another example is something like a web browser, where if the data corresponding to a web page is returned in a short window of time, this data will get rendered as, as a web page. But if the data that comes from the network is scattered across too much time, this is going to result in some sort of a timeout. That is to say, the software under test, which is our web browser, will render some sort of an error page instead of actually rendering the data if it comes too slowly. Now both of these examples that we just looked at are fairly easy to test because in each case we have this sort of binary distinction between in one case the data arriving quickly, that is to say a double click or a complete web page arriving before the timeout, and in the other case we have data arriving too slowly, that is to say two single clicks or a web page that takes so long to arrive that we timeout. In other cases, the time, timing dependent input can make our lives significantly more complicated.